okay so i'll talk about the concept of work hard play hard right you probably heard that old song right oh that was good we just learned a new way to look at her watch she said that's what we were doing so simply throw up the basketball and let it dribble good good tip pro tip for us in the future so if you see a basketball dribble i'm probably checking my watch so what we were talking about yeah the concept of working hard play hard work hard play hard right that song and it had it means to me especially as a kid by right, going to school you know going to classes that i hate it right i'm working hard because those classes when you don't like them when you don't enjoy going to them they can seem I uh, thank you bye. appreciate it they can seem like you're doing the hardest thing in the world you're working 10 times harder you know when you're out there you know in those classes so it's not to say that you're supposed to love everything you do hi right, what's up man thank you hello hi almost got a little bit carried away there so that's it and yeah like and that's one thing you know one secret to success right to making things easier for you because i don't know about you but me you know i don't necessarily like to take shortcuts but i like to make my past success you know almost as easy as they can be you know not necessarily taking a shortcut or cheating per se but you almost want to do things like that why would you want to make things unnecessarily harder for yourself and that's what you're doing when you know you don't take advice from people you don't research what you're doing right and take an extra knowledge and extra wisdom that can be used to help you and make things easier and well for many the concept of work hard play hard may simply mean just work hard just put your head into the sand and work right you know eat dirt eat you know that's what they're saying and that's not to say that that's a bad thing of course you want to be able to go out and put in the work and work on yourself but you know that's not without a price you know that you got to pay whether it may be you know not being able to see your family spend time with them relax enjoy yourself of course you know that's the play hard part we want to have fun but you'll have more time to play hard if you not necessarily work harder but work smarter right that's the whole deal and because a lot of things a lot a big issue i see with a lot of people you know some of my friends and stuff is that they just want to work to work and that's not a bad thing i love simply showing up and going to work for the sake you know of work no matter what you know i get out of it but that same two hours three hours that i spent working on myself you know it'd be quite foolish if i didn't simply make a few tweaks here and there to make that two three hours seem like four or five no more than the time i put in and get more output because that's probably what you want to do if you're out here working you know putting in the time you know it's almost foolish to say you know if you're just working you know for no reason why would you do that why would you you know essentially torture yourself whoa and we almost messed up whoa <laughs> thankfully there was no cars there right because we had a lot going on we were talking to y'all we were focusing on like 30 things at once but yeah as we were saying you know work hard i put in those hours in the gym but you know it's like it reminds me like let's say you work hard right you want 
an amazing body and you're in the gym for two hours but you're just doing biceps you're just doing you know like one muscle for two three hours and that's not to say that that muscle will be probably really huge you might have like the biggest biceps in the world but you know as far as your goal of getting in the best shape of your life of having the nicest most aesthetic most strong body you might fall short in that because you know your work is off it's not aligned in the right direction it doesn't align with your objectives and where you want to go so you know with that in mind you know what you can do is like compound exercises they're called i'm pretty sure where you're working on two three four muscles at a time you know your biceps don't have to be the only thing that are hit you can work biceps and also work chest work your shoulders out as well and what will happen is while you're doing your bicep workout you start to notice that hey my shoulders are feeling it too and then you'll start to notice hey my shoulders are sore hey my shoulders are growing my shoulders see progress and that's what you can do you know you know just like out here you know when we're running and juggling right before I would just run you know not use my hands but what I figured out is that there's more to it there's simple tweaks that I can do there's little tricks that I can pick up along the way like this one and what this is doing is not only training my legs but it's training my arms my shoulders my chest you know to keep these balls coming up you know and moving them around and to put them you know in the right place they need to be is not simply only my arms it's my mind it's my focus you know to keep you know on the same task and not get distracted and not get lost because it's very easy when you're doing a lot at once you know it's very easy when you're doing those compound exercises those compound bicep workouts to you know get lost you know in not worrying about those other muscles and what can happen is you get injured right you hurt yourself you you know deadlift the wrong way you don't wear a belt as sad as it may be then a lot of you don't wear a belt but you come up on that exercise and you don't have you know your back straight as it's supposed to be you don't have the proper form and to stay you know in that proper way you gotta focus you can't let your mind wander off and think you know about what you have to do tomorrow or you're so hungry you want to eat because what will happen is you start you know your form starts to wear off you start you know your work stops being so efficient it stops you know clearly hitting those three muscles that you wanted to hit and what happens is that you start you know almost to instead of progress you degenerate you start to do wear and tear on those ligaments and those you know parts of your body that weren't intended to be used so with that you got to be aware of what you're doing aware of the different tasks you're handling at once and decide whether those are the right tasks for you whether you should be doing them or avoiding them or pushing them aside or focusing on them even more that's all up to you and your ability to be aware of that and so what happens when you do the proper work and work your hardest right because that's what it comes out you know to becoming is a smart work right not putting in you know so much strained effort which you want to do but smartly what happens is you're able to relax huh? thank you so much I appreciate it is you know you're able to take those nights off you know and go out to the bar or the club and enjoy it you know enjoy the atmosphere because you 
you know what, you deserve it. You deserve that night of relaxation. You know, you're not a spoiled brat. You know, when it comes to free shit or free stuff, you know, you did your time. You know, as I hate to compare it almost to like, you know, you're committing a crime and like working so much, but it could feel like that. You know, it could feel like you're in prison of sorts. You've imprisoned yourself in the work. You've imprisoned yourself, you know, in having to, you know, miss barbecues and family dinners and nights that you would have loved, that you would have loved to spend with your friends and family. You would have loved to just kick back and relax. But guess what? You can't. And it's not to say that's a bad, horrible thing, but if it's for the right reasons, if it's to, you know, have more time to work and get better and do the things that you have to do in order to get everything that you want in life, then sure, do it. Work hard. And when it comes time to where you're done for the day, right, and that's, for me, you know, being done for the day, that never happens, right? I'm always like thinking about what I gotta do next, right? Even when I'm taking a break. But when it comes time that you have to take a break, you can play hard. And I'll tell you like, those times, those nights where I've been out celebrating something, celebrating hard work that I've done, they've been so amazing. They've been so much better than those nights where I simply went out to go out. Like what? Why are you going out then? No, that's not to say that like, of course your life, you know, it's limited. Enjoy it. Enjoy those few nights that you have to go out because it's, you know, it's not forever our lives. But, you know, when you have a reason behind it, you know, the reason behind you're going out is to relax and de-stress, you know, from a super productive day, hopefully. It's awesome. You know, for me, I will never forget those nights. And when I woke up the next morning, I felt ready for work more excited you know to do those things that got me to enjoying that night at the bar or the club or the friend house or whatever and from that you're able to work hard and play hard why would you just want to play hard and also why would you not want to just I mean why would you want to just work hard you know those things have to be together. They're not soul things. So, taking that in mind. <laughs>